Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play Civ 4 Caveman to Cosmos, which is still the worst possible name for anything ever. Um, I mean, descriptive, sure. It's good? No. Um, I'm just looking at the info screen here, and unfortunately we don't really have any opponents to compare ourselves to, uh, since uh, we are on a continent all to our lonesome. Uh, that does still have me a little bit concerned, because usually tech trading comes in to be really quite powerful and valuable um, in Civ. Now, in this particular game, I think the tech trading comes a bit later than usual, like you have to tech up quite a bit more before you get there, and so it's possible that the fact that we've got more land is going to help us out considerably. In any case, what I'm very happy to see is that our score does appear to be going up uh, exponentially, geometrically, I don't know, I'm going to say exponentially. Um, as is our GNP, which is very important, our gold production, which basically translates into science. Uh, we are currently in anarchy right now. So our numbers up here are kind of screwy. We're not generating any science, but yeah, it is just, just the anarchy, which will end next turn. And uh, I guess I'm just going to hit the button, see what happens. Bum, 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 bum. Running man, running man, running man. Some people in the comments are concerned about the stability of the game because they have heard that uh, this mod can be a little crashy. That's part of the reason I'm playing only on a standard size planet with only, I think, seven civs in total. Okay, we've broken out. We are now the Egyptian Queendom, yes, because we are a monarchy. Once again, generating money, even though we're at 100% research, which is just ludicrous to me. This is so unusual considering our fairly rapid expansion. Um, I am... What is our science? Are we still beelining towards astronomy or something? Where's... Where's the tech I'm looking for? Right, we're going towards literature, I think because we want to build a great library. Um, if we can make it. We won't have marble, so that'll kind of suck, but we'll do what we can. And then... Uh, I guess we were going to consider maybe short-term techs. Maybe city planning. Uh, but eventually, ultimately rather, going to astronomy. Um, what does this give me? Forbidden Palace, okay. Irrigation canals, more food, sure. Ports for more money. We don't actually need more money, though, yet. Um, yeah, and, uh, plus three free specialists is pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're just going to, um... Oh, it's so far away. Queue up to astronomy. Yeah, it's so freaking far. The other thing I just realized I should do... I wonder if I can do it from here. Select all these cities, and you are all going to be research-focused. Except for you two little guys. We're just going to take that off and let you do whatever you think is appropriate. I get a little icon for it and everything, which is great. What are these little dot icons, I wonder? Hmm. All right, so I don't know if that's actually changed your science rate too much, but it might favor science specialists if you can build them. And let's skip another turn. We can't rush this, no. <clears throat> We've got a bunch of uh, trade caravans queued up in Thebes as soon as it finishes the Temple of Ptah, which is probably Ta, Pa, I, I I don't know, those double continent sounds. Usually one is silent, but I don't know which one it is. I'm going to guess the P is silent, so the Temple of Ta. Uh, a forge definitely sounds quite nice. Let's do that. Crab traps. Oh, you do have crabs and everything. Food, money, sure. And shellfish everywhere. We don't need the bandits headquarters still. A settler. Actually, we're going to have to decide if we've got... I mean, we've potentially got some blank spots. We'll, we're going to have to take a, a careful look here and see what's what. Um... Yeah, I... Carmel? Eventually goes obsolete, but not for a really, really long time. The extra culture will help these guys. Um, sure, you can build a temple of them. Okay. Let's see. Um, wow. There's sort of a blank area over here, but not a lot. We get a lot of uh, excess production. I think the most likely pick will be something like here, which only has a little bit of spillover or on the island itself, which has no spillover, or no overlap, rather. I think the island is a decent place. It'll have crappy production, though, and won't really be able to defend itself. Just 
really the only practical way to get shrimp. Like, we can go here, but that's that much more overlap. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to go to the island. We need a ship for that, though. So, no rush on the, um, no rush on the settlers or anything. I don't think I want any here, so. All right, um, next turn. Not much to do. These turns not particularly exciting. Sorry, I keep adjusting my mic. It's probably making an awful sound. Oh, God, these turns are already taking so long. It's a good thing I'm not playing on a bigger map. This mod is ridiculously complex. There we go. World Wonder, Temple of Ta, free school of scribes in every city, which certainly sounds very good. Some happiness spreads our religion. Um, not that that's really a concern. Some culture, not that that's really a concern there either. You know, we're going to build a galley here. Uh, it's, this place is actually unhappy. Um, and unhealthy. Hmm. What could we build? Walls. Walls makes people happy. And gives culture. Oh, it's happy because of one of our civics, so I don't know if that's something we want to rely on. Um, oh, seamstress hut. Yeah, alright, let's do that. And then, you know what, you can queue up a galley, followed by a settler. Which is here. And a galley has how much room? Two cargo space. Well, I guess we will send you over with a worker at the same time. Alright. You can have a butchery. <clears throat> you can certainly have a forge. And three early merchants. You can head over here. Rush those statues. Oh, wonders and announcements and things. Okay. Archimedes workshops and built somewhere. The Temple of An Cacao has been built somewhere too. All right. I'm always surprised when it tells you these wonders when you don't know, but I guess it's because you have to know so that you don't, you can't build them. You're not confused. A library. Yeah. Okay. The library is definitely going to be key. Plus, gives us the ability to build scientists. We're going to rush that stuff all over. We probably should have gone to writing a lot sooner for respawn. What is this? It's a world wonder. The Hotre. Hotre. We'll only take one turn to build. I think we'll whip it out. 40% um, bonus science? Wow. Now, again, we might want to plan out our, our science cities a little bit more specifically. But frankly, our capital is always going to be awesome. And that is just really good. Yeah, build that. And then libraries. Libraries. More early merchants. And as soon as these are used up, we may very well just build more. Go. Judaism has been founded. Great spies are being founded. Happy I don't have them. They would actually cause, like, they would be useless for me. Utterly and completely useless at this juncture. Although I suppose I could save them up and then... I don't know, maybe generating it espionage points now is, is okay. You can't apply it to a sieve, but it might still make some sort of difference. Um, well, the Temple of Mut Mut is for our religion. It just generates culture, which is not terribly important. More gold. Great Wall, meh. The Plato's Academy. We need four school of scribes. Well, we should have that because we should have some in every city. Watchtower, so many different stuff. Mathematics Academy, three beakers, and more science. Yes. Uh, library me up. More. More. And some more. Good stuff. You, Galley, can just sit there for now. And I don't know if I can build some ancient merchants yet. No. We're still, we haven't spent ours. More wonders. Buddhism founded. Lots of religions popping up, which makes me happy because hopefully they'll start killing each other over them. Religion, the great divider. Okay, turn processing slow. Great library, yes. And what a good place to build it because this has the percentage increase. Okay, our capital is definitely going to be our science place. Two free scientists, yeah. And you know what? Maybe I'll focus on hammers, see if we can't shave a turn off. No, we can't, but... Um, 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 
Yeah, I built that for food. Sure. I'm not going to stress too much, take too long on each turn. Um, yeah, three turns no matter what I do. Okay. Getting like maximum overflow every turn, converting that directly into money. So sick. Mausoleum of Masolos. I don't care about that, I don't think. I think it gives greater golden age length, unless they've changed it in this mod. Which, everything else has changed, so why not? Calendar. Well, we're definitely getting our technologies pretty freaking quick. Oh, the plantations are going to be a big deal. Healer's hot. Um, sure. No, not a bandit's hideout. You're going to get a carpenter's workshop. And a butchery, sure. And I thought I was going to do something. Right now I've forgotten. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to get rid of that little city sign for one. Okay, borders are expanding. That's good. We do have a lot of expansion left to do in some of these places, though. Like, this is size 8, and these are still its borders. Um, it is going to expand soon, but I've got the realistic culture spread, so it spreads a little bit slowly per tick. And I think we just got another tech. Okay, our research rate is ridiculous since we've gone to, like, since we've actually picked up the ability to read and write, for example. Surprising how much of a difference it makes. Bum, 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 bum. Well, if we finish philosophy, we'll pick up Taoism. So enable some more stuff. Uh, we're going to say no. Philosophy is going to... Really? That's weird. I might have gotten the, uh, I might have the option on to allow multiple research per turn if, uh, if you, like, are back researching really cheap things, it can come up that you actually have enough overflow to get more than one. Um, this thing looks useful, plus 10% research? Sure. Yes, we like these. Not to mention the health, it's all very, very handy. Carpenter's Workshop sounds good to me. Right, settler, worker, and load onto the ship. And you notice the settler and the worker completed in the same turn. There was enough overflow from the settler and enough just pure hammers to finish the uh, the hammer or to finish the uh, the worker. And you're going to come over here and unload that stuff there. That working. Which villagers giving us a secret? There we go. The uh, that little island. We popped it. It gave us a free tech, which is kind of awesome. You are going to hurry production, and we've discovered lead near Elephantine, right here. So it currently has no improvement? Good, so they'll automatically mine it. Excellent. Go, go, go. Bum, 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 bum. Stupid long turns. Oh man, this is going to get so bad. At least we have a little running man to watch. To watch. And the Great Library. Sweet. Uh, that is going to be so huge. Uh, plus 10% research in a city that's already my primary research capital. How much? You're generating 68 beakers, huh? Actually, um, yeah, build that. Anyone else? Go ahead. Go ahead. Jeweler... Sure, I don't know why you're generating plus one beakers. Oh, the trade route yield is going to yield higher commerce, which means more research, so I guess that works out. Yes, forge. Okay, um, I want to see what my beakers look like. Yeah, 68, the closest is Memphis at 32. We'll probably just keep piling it on over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you can go and auto hunt. And you can go and hurry production. We're almost there. You, after you finish your temple of cons, you are going to queue up infinity early merchants, which means five. Um, good, you dropped that off. Excellent. You know, we're gonna send you back over here. We'll make we'll build some defensive units here in Heliopolis. We 
want um, town watchmen. We'll build three of them. We'll see how many overflow, actually. <clears throat> and then we'll transfer them over here. Uh, someone should probably build a work boat as well, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's that icon on the town watchman? I'll have to check it again. Um, I think we have lots of workers. Although it's recommending it. Now I'm starting to wonder. How many... Does it show me here? Workers. I only have nine. Oh, no, I definitely want more than that. Because you definitely want more than one per city uh, in Civ 4. You actually want maybe two per city. It's a long time to go without without enough workers. Heria Compolis. All right. And yes, you can start with a carnival for culture and stuff. And you, I guess I'll just automate for now. I'll probably just forget about you on that island, frankly. And you over here will build me a work boat. <clears throat> bum, bum. Philosophy is completed. Oh man, so much overflow. We're getting one tech per turn right now. So sick. How did we manage this? Where we get such a ridiculous research rate. And still running positive money. I, I really don't understand what we did right. You know, I think pacifism would actually be an excellent, excellent civic for us. Who are we going to go to war with right now? No one. Yeah, I don't know if we need everything, but we'll see. Taoism is founded. All right, let's see the big picture. We've got lots of civic changes that we could do here. We can go from junta to patrician. Unlimited merchants. Uh, no, I don't really need that. I mean... Hmm, more war weariness, which doesn't bother me. And we can spend gold to rush production, which is nice. Except that our production is pretty quick everywhere, actually. Uh, we could rush things in our new city, I suppose. But other than that, I'm wondering if we may want to... See, bonus production, bonus research... Okay, we need to get civil civil service, I think. Um, <laughs> it doesn't let us rush. Parliament would let us rush and make more money and birth rate. Meh. And these are going to be way too far away. Um, let's see if we can't pick up civil service pretty easily. Royal tomb. Sure, go ahead. Actually, is that in Thebes? I should save Thebes for uh, science wonders like this one, for example. Fuck. That would have been nice. Oh, and I want workers. Not settlers, workers. And a handful more. Thebes, you're not... Well, I mean, you're not capital and everything. But yeah... Um, what gives us beakers? That should be our top priority. Ah, oh, National Archives. There we go. Plus 15% beakers. Build me that instead. We'll build my tomb somewhere else. Maybe, I don't know. Somewhere more scenic? Or maybe somewhere more protected. We'll build it in Memphis. It's nicely protected. Build me that. Yeah. Uh, oh, early merchants. Okay. <laughs> You're going to head here, although I don't think you'll be required once you get there. But maybe you can rush something else. That city's still going to need a help getting started. And we will load you two on there. I guess we don't need to build a third town watchman. I just realized that there is a, uh, a two-unit maximum on my galley, so... And we got a, an alchemist. Oh, I think he spreads Taoism. Uh, you know what? We'll just have you auto-spread. Spread the love, man. <clears throat> but I don't, actually, I should send them to Thebes, maybe. Just in case it unlocks some more buildings that give us uh, research. Now, Thebes will probably get it at some point anyway, but the sooner the better. Oh, so long a turn. 
Oh, and World Wonder that gives culture enables all religion civics. And we get double production, that sounds pretty good. Sure, build that. And that. And that. <clears throat> and yes, the monastery. And that. And here you are. You're gonna come to Thebes. Automate. <clears throat> Oh, and before I skip another turn, Civil Cerberus, where are you? Probably further. <clears throat> Any democracy here, really? Alright, I feel like I'm probably missing it, but maybe not. <clears throat> maybe I haven't seen it yet. Should actually make it quite deep. Drug trade. Awesome. Bonus trade routes. Civil service, way up here, and it is already on our queue. Okay, nothing to worry about. Um, but then the question becomes, <clears throat> do we switch civics now? Let's start from the bottom up instead. Written tradition is not going to change. Open borders is probably still okay. Waste to see, I don't see making much of a difference, to be honest. It just decreases maintenance costs, and we don't have to worry about maintenance costs at all. We can switch from charity to church. Uh, greatly increased great person birth rate, which is nice. Um, faster building construction. Some bonus health. Uh, presumably, maybe that'll balance out, I'm not sure. Let's just build a foundling hospital. Okay, that sounds pretty good. <clears throat> now, we could also move from a divine cult, which is a birth rate penalty, and I would like some great people. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here a sec. What the hell? <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Better now. Um, what does it really give us? It actually gives a gold penalty in all our cities, except the capital. Okay. A little bit of happiness, which doesn't really matter. <clears throat> State church. We can now build uh, our, our missionaries everywhere, basically. Unlimited priests, for whatever that means. Faster building construction. Okay. <clears throat> Bonus culture over here. Okay, that seems like a pretty smart pick. Oh, and pacifism. Oh, that brings us up to two turns for revolution, really. Yeah, but banditry, which does nothing and just sucks. The pacifism, like, not that it actually bothers us, the maintenance cost, but pacifism is actually a huge birth rate increase. Culture doesn't matter. Nothing else particularly matters, although we could build art galleries. Oh, and we'll finally disable those bandits' hideouts. Sweet. Um, I guess then we may as well switch to patrician, since it won't cost us any extra time, and it is strictly better, I think. And, uh, yeah. All right, two turns of revolution. Probably worthwhile. Automated worker. You, workboat, could probably be automated. But I'll just send you here, just in case. Oh! Oh! We can't... The Divine Monument doesn't work anymore, because we don't have a Divine Cult. Well, I still am happy that I've got it. Hopefully I can still build that Royal Tomb. Automate workers. <clears throat> so much anarchy! My people have been watching the, the rioters in England and think that this is a good idea. They decided to throw down the government. Now, this does cause a substantial dip in our uh, GDP and research. I mean, everything stalls. We're going from one tech per turn, basically, to two turns with no techs, which is fairly significant. Um, galley, you can probably auto-hunt for now. You guys fortify. <clears throat> and see if you can spread Taoism to Thebes. Sweet! So we've got three religions here, which makes me quite happy. There we are. Out of anarchy. Our research rate, I believe, is much higher than it was, I think. And our great person production. You know, I think our great person production had so many negatives, we actually had never gotten a great person. Now, I would rather get the science one. But there's not really going to be any ways for us to jog it. It looks like we're most likely going to get religion. <clears throat> which wouldn't be the end of the world either. But hopefully we'll build more great scientists producing buildings and just keep capping that out.
God, Thebes is so big and awesome. Well, if we ever switch out a monarchy, we might have a happiness problem there. Although Memphis is also quite happy, so clearly the way this game, this mod works, is you can really support humongous cities. Okay, city planning. Which unlocks a bunch of stuff, as we've noted before, and should not actually disable anything we were using. I don't think we had any of them built. And bonds working. Sweet. Ports for economy. <clears throat> Why does this effectively give us health? Oh, because of the clam, crabs, fish, shrimp thing. Uh, that's good. It can use the health, actually. <coughs> and some beakers through extra trade. Awesome. Um, oh, yeah, we've got this religion, too. I'll start spreading that soon. But ports 